Okay, our next question has to do with Christians themselves and uh, can be put this way. Why are so many Christians hypocritical in their lifestyle? I think the answer to that question is actually pretty simple. It comes down to the fact that uh, they do not follow the Lord Jesus Christ and his teachings and the teachings of the New Testament as they ought to. But of course, um, that's pretty obvious. Uh, there needs to be more flesh on the bones than that. Um, in my thinking about this, I think uh, the best thing to do is to start with myself. I often find myself being hypocritical, either in my thoughts, um, if not my actions, uh, in my uh, motives for things, if not in uh, my outward deeds. And also, I find myself being pulled in different directions by my own nature, by my own character, or lack thereof. Uh, the Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 7 recognized this. He talked about the struggle that went on within inside him when he said, uh, you know, why is it that uh, the good that I would do, I don't do, and yet the evil that I would not do, that is, not, would not choose to do, I find myself doing. Wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? And uh, I think every Christian understands that cry. It's much easier for all of us, Christians included, to do what's wrong rather than what's right. Uh, why is that? Well, it's because of this sinful proclivity that we all have. Uh, this is why constantly in the New Testament, if you read it, you will see these admonitions to believers uh, to die to themselves. There's not commit harakiri or anything, but just die to their own wants so that they can follow Christ, so that they are receptive to uh, his demands. His demands are things like uh, loving others above ourselves, putting other people first, humbling ourselves instead of being proud and arrogant, um, making sure that uh, we speak comforting and edifying words to people instead of bringing people down. Uh, making sure that we value truth above all other things. And uh, it's things like that which Christians constantly have to be reminded of. I think more and more so in our day uh, rather than in uh, previous generations. And that's because of the impact of pragmatism upon the church. Uh, often uh, pastors and uh, churches are geared around success, geared around what they think works, what brings um, bottoms on seats and uh, people to the church and what puts smiles on faces, what brings the money in. And uh, often the values that are supported by that outlook are not biblical values and so Christians often find that they look like hypocrites to the world. They drive the same expensive cars as people in the world, they value material things and success and prestige the same way that uh, people in the world do and I think the people who are not Christians have a right to point fingers at Christians like that and say, well, they're living hypocritically. Doesn't Christ teach that we should seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the other things will be added to us? We can trust God for those things. Yes, it does. And yet uh, Christians have bought into this kind of two-minded outlook on the world where they can go to church on Sunday and maybe a Bible study in midweek and they can have their Christian chit chat uh, to other believers and put on that front and then uh, at their place of work or with uh, 
non-Christian friends that can be completely different and have different outlooks, different values, and different motives. Uh, we deceive ourselves when we do that, and it's only right for the world to point that out. So why are Christians hypocrites? Well, because Christians are merely saved sinners like everybody else. Uh, we shouldn't excuse ourselves when we are not Christ-like. And uh, I sometimes find myself excusing myself for uh, being the person that I am, but I shouldn't. Um, when I'm not what I profess to be, I'm a hypocrite. Uh, finally, our I would say this. Fortunately, Christianity is not about Christians. It's exhibited by Christians and they often do a pretty poor job of it. But Christianity is about Christ. Christianity is about God's love and God's forgiveness for sinners. It's about the fact that even though Christians mess up and they fall, they can get back up again, dust themselves off, and ask for forgiveness and uh, move on with God. It's about a loving, a forgiving, a caring God who wants a relationship with you and who will not uh, be a stern judge of you when you fail. Uh, if you want to know what Christianity is about, study Jesus Christ. That's who it's about.